snake. Right here in this tree. I think I got a fish. I have no idea where my husband is leading us. And I didn't wear hiking boots for this. And it's kind of wet and muddy. Oh, yuck. Snake! Right here in this tree. Honey, he's coming down towards you. I wouldn't get in that. Where's he at? He's in that brush and around that tree. Almost. He was grayish and fast and big. I was busy watching you and filming you, and I hear him. You heard a snake? And I looked down, and there he was. That's scary. You're going the direction he's going. Well, honey, it's okay. You want to? You want to meet up with it? As you can tell, I'm not the adventurous type. As far as when it comes to snakes. It's a beautiful spring day and everything is out. Just know that snake is right over there somewhere and I'm right over here and I'm looking all around me here. I have learned why this channel is called Sooner Girl Travels. 
instead of Sooner Girl Adventures because I'm not very adventurous when it comes to walking up on snakes. So now I'm a little bit paranoid watching my surrounding. It's a beautiful spring day. Absolutely gorgeous day. So besides the fishermen that are out, the snakes are enjoying the sun. And so I'm constantly keeping an eye out all around me because just a few minutes ago, I was about as close to a snake as this brick is from my foot. And that was a little bit too close. I didn't see him till he started moving. Was in brush like this where I stumbled upon the snake earlier. I think I got a fish. I hope I got a fish. It's just a limb, another limb caught.
A couple years ago, I ended up in the hospital, in ER, with a fish hook in me. I don't have any reason why. No. Where'd it go? Right there. I'm glad it didn't hit me a little, a few, few inches over, a few inches, that would hurt. As I was being a smarty, talking about being in the ER a few years ago with a fish hook in me, about that time this broke loose from that limb down there I was hooked on. And it hit me right there. A little further one way, a little further the other, I would probably be crying right now. But thank the Lord, my family bought me this here fishing uh, vest. And I had some uh, plastic lures in boxes, and that's what it hit. <laughs> thank goodness for that. The things I do for my husband. Should have just drove my Jeep down here. I got one right underneath my armpit. I think fishing is dangerous for our family. Now he's walked through a cucklebur patch. He's showing what a cucklebur is. Now, I'm not sure why he couldn't see these. Oh, for snakes. There's a patch. He said I he was, was looking for snakes. So he walked all through this and gets one under his armpit. One of these things with sharp spines. Called a cucumber. And now you're gonna have to come back through. Yeah, but I'm gonna go a different direction this time. <laughs> stick me once, pull on me. Stick me twice, pull on me. That didn't make any sense. Everybody thinks you gotta go somewhere in order to see something. We're less than three miles from where we live. And we are on an adventure. We've seen a snake. We have gone through a cuckaburr patch. Uh, I almost got hit in the new the, the 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 private zone with a with a fishing lure that ladies and gentlemen is an adventure get out of your apartment get out of your house look around where you live who knows you might find something adventurous where you live like this is something very inspiring to get out and do go through a cucklebird patch almost step on a snake and almost get decapitated by a fish hook. That doesn't sound very inspiring. I said this was Sooner Girl Travels, not Sooner Girl Adventures. <laughs> well, I was reading off your phone. It says, Adventure Begins. Oh, the sticker on my phone. Yeah. We can drive up to where I know where there's clean water. See if we can catch a perch or something. As you can see, he's got one of those thorns riding on his vest. Are you gonna pull it off? Don't get it stuck on it. They hurt. And he's still
still trying to bring these cockle burrs home with him. Okay, so Jerry tried his luck at fishing again at another spot after lunch and didn't have any luck. So we stopped at the local piggin' out and picked up a strawberry shortcake ice cream that we're gonna share. Well, we made quick work of that. How long do you think it took us? Three or four minutes. <laughs> it was very good. Shortcake, vanilla ice cream, strawberries, whipped cream, and a cherry. <laughs> so Jerry is trying one more attempt at fishing. We've been going at this since about 10 30 a.m. this morning and it's now after four it's been an adventure from snakes to cockleburs to fishing hooks flying back at us to the noise of a flock of geese over there I don't know if you can hear it or not but anyway, life is an adventure. Life is what you make it. And I was thinking yesterday, I'm not about capturing content. My channel is about capturing moments. I know a lot of people go and they chase content. They're always working, trying to figure out what's the next content going to be. But my channel's not about that. I'm just living life, and there may be days that I film what I'm living, and there may be days that I don't. It's about being authentic and just sharing Sooner Girl Travels with you. Capturing minutes, enjoying the moment, making memories. I encourage you today you have but this one life to live, so go out and capture your moments.